What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. We're going super view because we need to get under the truck here. Uh, but we started hearing a pretty bad noise, so I'm gonna try and catch it on camera here. All right, y'all, welcome back. So that was three days ago that we were diagnosing that sound. Uh, I ended up taking it to Napa and having some other dude listen to it. And he was thinking that it was lower ball joint. Regardless, I got a grease gun, and the only thing that's greasable on this truck is the ready lift upper control arms. So I can't do inner outer tie rod greasing, and I can't do lower control arms, so that's cool. I did get the needle fitment, but you poke holes in the boots, so I wasn't ready to do that yet. I mean, the truck's only got 19,000 miles on it at this point. However, during the day and uh, under continued driving of the truck, the squeak went away and kind of turned into a grind that I could feel in the steering wheel and then completely disappeared. So I'm hoping that there was something stuck somewhere. The truck has been in pretty deep mud uh, a fair amount of times recently. I'm hoping there's something stuck in something or rubbing because it's not doing anything at all now. The only thing it's doing is there's definitely a rock stuck in one of the back brakes because it is squeaking like crazy. So regardless, we're on the way to the dealership now. It does need an oil change. I was gonna do the oil myself, but I figured I may as well have them look at it. That is also my truck making that sound. Holy shit. All right, y'all, so we just got back from the dealer and the clean bill of health. They couldn't find anything wrong with the truck. Said the lift kit is holding up great. Changed the oil on it. I don't know where that grease was coming from and they couldn't figure it out either, but what we got here is Onyx off-road pulled up and we're at the Dotsero Crater. So I'm gonna throw y'all up on the windshield here and we're gonna go for a trip at the Dotsero Crater. It's kind of sketchy looking. There's a bunch of trash and stuff on the side, but let's get her done. So it doesn't look to be too long of a trip. But here we go. Um, yeah, so dealership. Uh, absolutely nothing wrong with the truck. They did a shakedown, they put it up on the alignment rack, he said. Uh, took it for a drive, couldn't hear anything, so. What do you do after she gets a clean bill? He'll take her off road, baby. So there we are on the vitals. We can see engine coolant is slightly over 210 and trans is 205. We really haven't gone far at all on this map. So we started down here and we got to go all the way up and around. I don't know if I'm going to do this whole thing.
bearing right here. You know what, I was gonna call it, but screw it. We're here already, and it's not difficult or anything. It's just a matter of, of if the truck breaks, which I don't think it will. So, let's keep going. It looks like the top part of it really does start to, uh, let me recenter. Top part really does straighten out, so. Why the hell not? So pardon the wind, uh, now we're gonna call it. The way I had that map zoomed out, I thought we were close to halfway. We're nowhere close to halfway. Uh, I'd definitely love to have somebody else out here, a full size spare and some max tracks just in case. Also judging by the amount of snow, I don't know how much snowier it's gonna get up top. And once again, I have nothing to get me out if I get stuck in there. Uh, I don't have traction, nothing. Um, nobody else, no ropes, not prepared for this in any way, shape or form. With that said though, this is a sweet camp spot. Uh, we do have the soft topper on order for the truck. So I mean, I can imagine it being out here doing some camping. This is freaking awesome out here. I'm glad I found this trail. Well, slightly alarming. I'm just using the free version of Onyx and it reset on my phone. So now I have no directions to get out of here. Uh... Well, I've lost Onyx. But at this point in the joiny, wrap the cable up here. Uh, we are at 223 on the transmission, expected, and engine coil temp is just fine um, as hill descent control kicks in. So I guess we're just gonna creep our way back down the mountain here. I was gonna show you guys how far we made it on the Onyx map. Uh, it was less than halfway. So maybe we'll regain service here shortly and I'll show y'all. Other than that, enjoy the way down.